I'm, I think I'm gonna rant. I'm, it, there might be a little bit of ranting, little rant. No basic zone. Especially back with another video if you know you know I'm in my bed but if you are new hey boo my name is Tushy be sure to go ahead and subscribe to join officially officially girl you want to be official so officially join the stitch gang and also turn on your post notifications so that way you're alerted whenever I upload a new video and to all my lovely returning subscribers welcome back you guys always have to have you guys back <sighs> that be taking a lot out of me for a brand new video so Today, as you guys can see, this is going to be a very chill video. It is going to be, like, business related. But I wanted to come on here and just tell, like, talk to you guys. Like, just give you guys kind of, like, an update. How has business been, you know, during Rona, during, you know, COVID-19? Um, yeah, so let's let's dive right into it. I want to say this, is this episode 23? Like, I'm kind of, like, losing count. But nonetheless, shout out to you guys because you guys always support my um, videos and I appreciate you guys for that. So, real quick, just to let you guys know what's going on in the face. But I had an updated brow tutorial, so go check that out. I'll leave that link up above. Also, I am wearing stush lashes right now. And I'm also wearing the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the color Hot Chocolate. Um, so, yeah, real quick, I am currently having a sale going on right now. I think by the time you guys watch this video, I think this video might be up on Sunday. The sale might be, the sale is going to be over by then. But, um, it's been challenging just trying to you know not necessarily get orders out but get them to customers in you know a timely fashion some of my orders have been going out in a timely fashion but I've had one incident where um, a customer ordered for my birthday sale and I don't know if you guys remember but my birthday was March 8th it's currently April I want to say today's the 23rd of April so that was a minute ago so um, she ordered for my birthday sale she wrote me the end of March like hey um, my order because her order was delivered my order was delivered but um they said that they said that no one was there to claim the package so they returned it back to you so i don't know if you guys are familiar but i've mentioned it before i do have a p.o box for my business i recommend like if you have a business get yourself a p.o box i think i pay 60 dollars for three months so a lot of people don't think about this when they support your business they think that oh you just putting stuff out but a lot comes with the having a business if you know you know but yeah i believe my p.o box is like sixty dollars for three months obviously this is something that i invest in you know for more than three months because i have you know my business is not just a three month business but um so back to what i was saying the item my parcel was returned back to my p.o box and normally my p.o box is supposed to alert me whenever um a package returns me and they didn't alert me or anything so there's times that i'll go to my post office and you know drop off mail or something like that but i don't necessarily check my p.o box because i'm expecting which is bad on my part that they'll um mail me or that a customer will say hey i didn't receive a package or something like that so i would know you know i went back to my p.o box so it was apparently returned back to my P.O. box and she hit me up like, hey, I didn't get my order, blah, blah, um, because they claimed that it was delivered and I know they did. She t specifically told me like USPS, they always play games. No shade, no see if you're working for USPS. I have good and bad times with you guys, so I'm not going, you know, and I understand COVID is like putting a strain on everyone, especially like them having to go to work, risking their safety and, you know, the whole thing. But um, I've had, you know, my issues in they've also been very good to my business as well so she specifically told me that you know they didn't drop anything off like they acted like they did but they didn't because she always has issues with them no one ever came with the package so I'm I don't know what happened on their part but it apparently was returned back to me so I went ahead and shipped the order back out to her you know because obviously you know we paid for this I'm very upset that you haven't received it since my birthday sale and like you know that's that's something that I don't want to hear I want to ensure that all my cuties get their get their stuff especially if you I'm mad as hell when I order from a brand and I don't know where the order is at or I haven't seen it I shipped the order back out to her and the estimated delivery was around two to three days which is normal we're in the same city but different boroughs so I figured you know she would get it within two days so I'm checking the package again and it's not leaving where I dropped it off at and I'm like what's going on why are they not shipping out the item it kind of, it's it I don't know how to explain it to you guys but it basically like let's say the zip code was 1926 it went from 1926 to 1924 and then back to 1926 it didn't make any sense it was still in the same vicinity like they brought it from the main post office to a, a neighboring post office that had the same zip code when do 
it becomes. I don't know, it was really weird or had a similar zip code. So I went back to the post office and they don't know where the package is because they said it was back and available for pickup. So they don't know where my package is when I go back now and I'm like, are you guys kidding me? Like because this customer made their order from March, it's the end of March now, damn near the beginning of March and she still hasn't received it. Like how, and you guys don't know where it's at. To be honest you guys, right now the parcel is still saying it's in like it's in it's at the post office where my PO box is but they don't have it so of course I shipped out a new a brand new order for her because I'm so big on customer service I want to ensure that people are getting things that they pay for especially if you've purchased this thing for me a while back really and obviously this wasn't something on my part and and everyone that's ordering things right now they know that delivery maybe may take a little bit longer than normal because of the simple fact that you know COVID and you know it's harder to get you know these things out especially when people are short of staff and stuff like that but they just don't know where my package is and like I want to know where my package is because that those are items that I could reship or you know that's inventory okay so basically the customer ordered two pair of lashes I technically shipped out four pair of lashes hopefully that makes sense I shipped one out for the birthday sale it went to her destination delivered it back to me I shipped that same one back out it never it basically never left it went from one post office to another in the same vicinity and came back to me so the third one finally reached her so the third one was this technically the second package that I shipped out so that one I just handed it to my mailman um, when he was on my block compared to like going to the post office and having them put it in the system and then put it back on a truck I just gave it to the mailman because he already had the truck like he was already sitting in the truck so that's what I've been doing as of late um, especially with the sale that I'm having right now again I think the sale might be over by the time you guys watch this video but I've just been waiting to see my mailman the exact same day that the orders are I've just been waiting to, to see the mailman and I've been giving him like the packages because it's just it's just too much like I've also ordered from other um, small businesses and you know I've received emails packages may take up to two to four weeks or something like that to be delivered and I mean it's a sad time and I feel like it's affecting us even more as small business owners not only are we trying to stay afloat in this but it's also like delays and it's bruh it's annoying i'll say that i know for sure like i'm not the only one that feels this way and again shout out to you if you do work for post office fedex usps ups like i understand but it's like i need to know where things are you know like and obviously we i have delivery tracking like all my parcels have you know tracking you can check on um where your package is but I'm looking at where the package is and it's saying it's at the P.O. box but you guys are telling me you don't have it so who has it now you're playing with my emotions you're playing with my customers emotions like whew. so I've just been giving my package to my mailman because I feel like he's 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 the bro you know I see him he's always on the block he delivers my all of my mail so even though my package is technically delivering from a p.o box so even though i have a p.o box i can still ship it from my house hopefully that makes sense like it doesn't matter because on the package on the parcel itself it says my p.o box so in the event god forbid it gets it has to be returned to sender it goes to the p.o box which is you know what i don't want to happen but i'd rather it go out a different way you know if that makes sense compared to me bring it to the post office and then bruh do you want to fight I'm over it. <laughs> Can you guys tell that I'm over it? Um, but other than that, I mean, I've had things that have been delivered two to three days. I've ordered from Ulta that took a little bit longer, took around five days. Normally, I feel like it would have taken maybe two or three. I guess you couldn't consider this a rant, huh? I don't know. I feel like I could, you know, share things like this with you guys. I mean, I'm grateful that we are able, that the post office is open and, you know, for and for packages to still be being delivered but it's just like but that's still you know that still kind of aggravates me but everything's fine she got her package she was greatly appreciative and she was understanding of the fact that you know packages are being are going in my aid packages are being misplaced and things are taking a lot longer to be delivered and i feel like it's very important for people to understand that as well like i understand you know that things are going to take a little bit longer but don't lose them don't tell me you lost it you know 
So I've been just keeping an eye on that tracking number. It still says that it's at the post office where my P.O. box is, but the last time I went, I went there maybe like a week and a half ago, and he told me that if in the event that he found the package, because it says that it's at, it says that it's at their location, in the event that they find the package, he'll just put it in my P.O. box. But I don't want to keep going back over there and they keep telling me that they don't have it. I'm just going to wait. I might actually go there tomorrow and see and pray that they have my item. If not, I'm going to file a um, claim on USPS website because like there's nothing else that I can do I'm not about to just take that L I'm gonna at least see if they can you know figure out where the item is since no one at that particular PO box is post office is helping me I don't know I don't know you guys but I want to know how things are going for you guys other than that everything is fine that's all I really had to tell you guys other than that business is cool I've really and truly just been um, creating graphics I've been I just put out my first Instagram TV which I feel like not to say I didn't have the time I feel like we we all have time we just have to dedicate time to certain things but I made the time and I put out my first Instagram TV so yeah um I've just been creating YouTube videos for you guys posting on Capra and why I, I want to try to do a few more Instagram TVs and get a lot more personal on there as well I feel like personality is important when building a brand or just when trying to make your brand grow. I love seeing I love seeing business owners and CEOs on their brand pages talking about certain products and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to try to spend more time on in addition to creating more videos for you guys, making more TikTok videos. Like TikTok is an obsession, y'all. Like I'd be on TikTok at 3 a.m. when I should be sleeping. Um I need to work on my my schedule links, my schedule as well, my daily schedule because I know once outside opens back up, it's going to be hard to transition into normal life, you know? So I also feel like I've been getting a bit more creative when it comes to like makeup. I've been trying to push myself out of the norm and trying to do a lot more colorful looks and things like that. And I feel like you guys have also been liking that. So so yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for this time that we have, but I just need UPS to get together. No shade, no tea. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for listening to my rant. I feel like you guys will understand, especially if, like, I know a lot of business owners watch my videos. I know a lot of you guys that want to start a business are watching my videos as well. I'm running out of space. Sorry, guys. So, like, things like this can help you guys too in just knowing what's out there, what can possibly happen, and what's been happening on my end of things, on my side. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of like a rant. Quick little business update, quick little how COVID has been treating Caparel NYC and stuff but if you enjoyed it go ahead and give me a big thumbs up so that way I can create more videos like this for you guys also subscribe if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed join the gang since we'd love to have you and it just makes you official you officially become a part of the Switch gang which they already know y'all already know and also turn on your post notifications ring that bell okay love you guys thank you guys again so so much for watching and until next time until the next upload I'll see you later bye